Isambard Kingdom Brunel was simply the engineering hero of the Victorian era, a colossal figure across all forms of civil engineering. And in one respect, we can see the Great Eastern as being his crowning glory. The Great Eastern was Brunel's third ship and perhaps his most innovative. It was more than three times larger than any other ship afloat. Steamships at this period in the 1850s were very inefficient, so burnt vast quantities of coal. So it was impossible to get halfway round the world without refueling time and time and time again. So Brunel's solution was to build an enormous ship that could carry enough coal to get there. And it was designed to carry 4,000 people and 6,000 tonnes of cargo. The problem for Brunel, of course, is he was too far ahead of his time. No port in the world had the facilities to cope with a ship the size of the Great Eastern. So despite all of this innovation, despite all of his great skill, the ship was a terrific commercial flop. In tackling a project as huge as the Great Eastern, Isambard Kingdom Brunel took on enormous personal risk and this had a great strain on his health. He had invested his entire fortune in the Great Eastern. He had hawked his wife's jewellery at the pawnbroker. So everything rested on this ship. And the strain of the ineffective launch of the ship, not being able to get it into the water and having to expensively push it down towards the Thames, put enormous strain on him and ultimately led to his death when he died of a stroke shortly after the ship was launched.